requirements and yeah, i know it's, it's not quite, easy yeah. at all so i want to understand your experience when you went to represent the country now mm -hmm. finally now the big moment yes. when you went to represent the country what was that experience like when you met all those other beauties from all over the world can you tell us that boot camp i know it was late i would like to hear that story yeah it's quite overwhelming in mm -hmm. so many levels mm -hmm. because as a miss universe kenya i got crowned pretty close to the finals oh. to be specific three weeks to the finals mm -hmm. and even before getting there mm -hmm. there's so much that comes into it you need to sort for outfits and gowns mm. things that are supposed to be provided for and it should be very easy but unfortunately in africa we're still growing into this industry mm -hmm. so i had a very hard time mm -hmm. trying to put everything together and then eventually eventually you have to go for the trip like uh -huh. everything was so fixed in mm -hmm. one little time frame mm -hmm. but i think it's the god i serve number one mm -hmm. it's the strong family background i have hallelujah and it's the will i had <laughs> the will i had mm -hmm. and the drive i had mm -hmm. to do this and do it to my level best okay so the experience getting there was quite overwhelming uh -huh. you feel like you feel insecure to be honest it's i can a beauty imagine pageant. Mm. there are 86 beautiful women from different parts of the world okay you get acquainted to them mm -hmm. You, every day is a trial because mm -hmm. there are moments you literally, my roommate was Miss South Africa and there are moments we literally had to talk to ourselves in the mirror and <laughs> you had to wake up and reassure yourself every single day Gosh. because that's where the competition is. I thought the Kenyan competition was tough, uh -huh. but that's 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 on another level yeah 86 i can imagine 86 i mean <laughs> what are the odds you land as top six goodness yes, gracious and it's, me it's, it's 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 quite even right now i'm still in awe like i look at the videos and i get emotional i'm like how how in the world did i make it to that level but then wow. i'm still confident uh -huh. in, in my fighting spirit and mm -hmm. i think god rewards that Amen to that. I like yeah. that. I'm very encouraged. I just might pursue it and continue. <laughs> no, you should. Why not? <laughs> at least I have you guys, so at least it'll be a bit easier. No, I you should definitely. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'd like to understand from you. Um, when it comes to support from the country and from the government, did you receive enough support uh, representing our country? I'd like to be honest, so mm -hmm. that I wouldn't be painting a beautiful picture to mm -hmm. an, an a girl who's aspiring to be at my level. Yes. It's quite tough. The mm -hmm. Kenya and Africa is not yet accepting, fully accepting of beauty queens and beauty pageants mm -hmm. and the importance it has even in a country. Mm -hmm. Like Asian countries take so much pride in their beauty queens and even pursuing things like uh, brand ambassadorships or endorsements mm. is automatic when you become a beauty queen. Oh. So my experience was quite the opposite and uh. I felt it so much when even the first day I landed in the Philippines, it was a presidential escort. Those people <laughs> adore and appreciate beauty queens even before you win. Wow. They don't even know you, they don't know they know your country, they've read your story, but they know you by name. They call you from the crowd by Eish, name. Mm -hmm. Like it's an experience on another level and the value they put on beauty queens and beauty pageants mm -hmm. shows. And that's why I think they even do well mm -hmm. all the time in these beauty pageants because wow. they instill so much value in it. So I didn't get so much support from home mm -hmm. until <laughs> I placed in the top six and then people at least got to know about Miss Universe because I was the only the fourth representative from Africa, mm -hmm. from Kenya, I mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And not so people know about Miss World Kenya, yes. but they didn't quite know about Miss, Miss Universe, Universe Kenya mm -hmm. until, until my placement at the finals. I thought Miss Universe is even bigger than the world. <laughs> it shocked me as well because <laughs> when I went there I found out that Miss Universe is actually the biggest beauty pageant. Yes, thing. I would so imagine. So actually any aspiring beauty queen should aspire to be a Miss Universe mm. because you never know, you could be the first Kenyan to actually win it. Wow. Because it's very possible. My story should be a reflection of it. Speaking of your story, um, yes. they, they tend to have these things where you have to have an initiative. An yes. initiative you're pursuing that also helps gives you give give you points yes. when it comes to winning the awards. Tell us about your initiative. What was your initiative about? Mine was quite personal because mm -hmm. I used to learn about uh, drug addiction and drug oh. abuse uh -huh. in school, mm -hmm. but I never quite experienced it on a personal level. Mm -hmm. One of my siblings, unfortunately, mm -hmm. found himself in that. Uh, sphere and he became so hooked to it mm -hmm. and it really affected him i saw how it 
it changed him as a person, oh. it changed his personality. Like I've seen the damage it does. And it touched me so much, I wanted to really do something about it. Mm -hmm. And even when I was joining Miss Universe Kenya, it was for that cause because I realized it's quite expensive to rehabilitate and medicate. So once true. I got that, uh, because we took him to a rehabilitation center the first time, but it got too expensive. Mm. So me joining Miss Universe Kenya was an avenue for me to get the prize money so mm -hmm. that our family can finally afford to take my, my sibling to a rehabilitation center. Mm -hmm. So even though the Miss Universe Kenya crown didn't have monetary value, mm. I have this opportunity to still push my my cause mm -hmm. on a different level and that exposure obviously gave me room mm -hmm. to push it more and i'm still on it i'm still working on it mm -hmm. and trying to make a change for my brother and there are so many families i've seen in my estate where i live there are so many families so many people female male mm -hmm. children mm -hmm. people who have families like it's mm -hmm. it's a problem that needs mm -hmm. to be addressed and mm -hmm. that's what i've been doing okay yes um, I'm glad that you've pursued something so noble, and especially yes, when it comes to drug addiction. Yeah, I actually, I also have a lipstick line. It's called the Scarlet Ray Lipstick Collection. Uh -huh. And it's, uh, when you purchase my lipstick, mm -hmm. a percentage of, of that actually goes to the Shades of Life Foundation. Mm. So the Shades of Life Foundation is what I basically explained. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, loving the addict and reaching out to addicts and extending love and that helping hand. How is your sibling doing now? I'm curious. Are they doing much better? I trust God, but mm -hmm. he's, 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 he's 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 just there, <laughs> but we tr we trust God. Okay. It's, it's a hard journey. It's a hard journey, and I think you need to live it mm -hmm. to know how hard it is. I guess. So yeah, we yeah. are hoping that things will end up well. Well, I do wish you yes. the best, and that's a good cause. I you. didn't know that you can actually pursue something very passionate, about even if it's personal, and they still acknowledge that. I think that's amazing. It doesn't have to be something oh, you know. Thank you. No, I yes. feel the more personal, the yeah. more the more genuine it is because yes. most beauty queens know that there's that part about being yes. a beauty pe a beauty queen yes so some of it is just for the books you know mm -hmm. but when it's more personal then it means even if you don't succeed at it you'll never give up because you're only a beauty queen in that year mm -hmm. but you see when it's not personal mm -hmm. when that year ends mm -hmm. you drop it and move on to the next thing that's true yeah. you're right you, you won't you won't be m so motivated to keep pursuing yes. it especially if it starts to flop you'll just be like ah, <laughs> let me just <laughs> yeah, leave it alone but when it's personal it means yeah, something to you yes okay let's talk about something that might put a smile on your face can you tell of me course. about <laughs> i can imagine you've worn so many different dresses all sorts of dresses in fact as it as it was as your instagram page was running over here so even wedding dresses i so, so many dresses yes. do you have a favorite was there a dress that you wore and until today you still remember it or there was just something special and was and who was it made by local or or <laughs> whichever there was as long as it was your favorite your most memorable outfit out of all those outfits you've worn and mm. and gone through the stage perhaps the most on stage mm. <laughs> yeah because i wanted to say something else, oh, no, no, it's okay just <laughs> mention that your favorite let me not close it uh-huh I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I would say this because he's my favorite, uh, one of my favorite uh, Kenyan designers, and I like mm -hmm. promoting African yes. designers mm -hmm. because there's need to do that. As a beauty queen, you need to always represent your roots and where you come from, mm -hmm. and that's why even today mm -hmm. I'm wearing this amazing look yes. from a friend of mine who's an amazing designer uh -huh. and yeah he does amazing things like this yes you look quite lovely and very <laughs> so african <laughs> yeah, i was very so excited <laughs> <laughs> so to get to your question yes my favorite look was probably the one i wore when i went back to miss universe in december mm -hmm. i just went to watch and support because kenya went back to uh -huh. the competition so i just went to show my support yes for the current miss universe kenya mm -hmm. so i wore this uh, mermaid gown mermaid it's very regal uh -huh. and it has it even has this hat but i couldn't wear the hat <laughs> but it's quite regal i like showing the african authenticity uh -huh. and just taking pride in in Kenyan beauty and Kenyan representing wow. Kenya in the best way I possibly can. A mermaid outfit. 
Yes. I'm still stuck on the mermaid part. Like, <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Yeah, it stood um, out completely. Everyone was in awe. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At least I got mm-hmm. what I went for. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and I promoted the designer as well. So, it's good. The All designer right. is Jamil Walji. Mm-hmm. And he does a lot of high fashion runway modeling mm-hmm. uh, looks. Mm-hmm. So, that's why I picked him. Okay. Yes. Well... I would like to see this mermaid outfit. I don't know. But if, I don't know what my favorite dress was back in the day. I'm not exactly sure. But I think I'll remember in a few minutes. But, well, I'm trying to recuperate and try to remember those days. We want to play a game because it's Freestyle Friday. Of course. Yes, Freestyle <laughs> Friday. We like to have fun as much as we've gotten to know you now. Uh-huh. Um, we'd like to get to know you in a, in a more fun kind of scenario. Okay. So let me, I'm going to ask you like seven, seven questions. Mm-hmm. But uh, answer them very honestly. Uh-huh. And feel free. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> and feel free. So the first one. Hmm. Oh, what was your favorite food when you were a child? Favorite food when I was a child. Hmm. Malenge. <laughs> <laughs> I would say potatoes. Potatoes. Yes. When you to our And to date, I love fries so much. <laughs> It's it's fortunate that it doesn't quite show on it doesn't I have a high metabolism so it doesn't quite re- re- <laughs> reflect on my physique mm-hmm. but yeah I love waru's You like waru's <laughs> Okay yes. waru nation at least sisi we as represented <laughs> Yeah because it used to be mashed really nicely with margarine and it tasted quite nice With so, yeah. margarine yes. potatoes and margarine yes. Oh god that's a conversation for another day because me I was just about to run away <laughs> Anyway <laughs> Yes. Let's move on to the next question. Um, what's the number one most played song on your phone, on your playlist? Currently, I'd say f- uh, Fire on Fire. Fire on Fire? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> you now you sing it for us. I heard it uh-huh. like a week ago and I've been, even my sister is complaining now because I'm that type. <laughs> and I replay and replay and replay and repeat, replay and replay and repeat, repeat, and repeat. Yes. repeat. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fire on Fire, uh, DJ Khalifa, do you have it anywhere? Okay, okay, Sawa so, Sawa, so, I think he's going to play for you that song Yay. as we finish. <laughs> yes, okay, fire and fire all fans, please. Yeah, if you like that song, know you and Miss Universe, Nikki Tumoja. Mm-hmm. All right, so there's one more. Um, if you could throw any kind of party, what would it be like and what would it be for? I would throw a party for my mom and just celebrate Aww. her because she sacrificed so much. She was left uh, a widow mm-hmm. at only 30-something Ooh. with mm-hmm. six children, you know step like uh, she's my stepmom so you understand mm. so she's such an amazing woman my mentor so i would just throw a party to appreciate her and mm-hmm. the and the role she's played in my life and my siblings lives yeah Hey, party to appreciate <laughs> mommy in honor of mom. Yes. I like that. <laughs> okay, so which celebrity do you get mistaken for? Hmm. Hmm. Do you have the any? one I really got after the Miss Universe finals uh-huh. was Evelyn Jambi. And I think it's because <laughs> she also, she made it to the top five in Miss World. Wow. And it was quite close to Miss Universe. So even when I went there, let me tell you a story. Uh-huh. Tell <laughs> us, let's go. Mm-hmm. So th- I was so mistaken for her, especially uh-huh. there, because mm-hmm. of the hairstyle, the mm-hmm. updo. Mm-hmm. And then she wore a red gown at the finals. I wore a red gown at the finals. So, like, oh. so yeah, mm-hmm. there's a v- Miss Universe video. They actually wrote her name instead of mine. Oh, my and God. Understandably, because for some countries, they have... A p- one person to represent both Miss World and Miss Universe. Oh, so maybe so that's, where, that's the where the confusion ah. came. Yeah, so they thought, ah, you're so amazing. You you make it a top five in Miss World and then Miss Universe. And then you're like, that's so not to me. Be. <laughs> yeah, it's not me. <laughs> it's I'm not sorry. me. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds a bit funny, but okay. Yeah. Evelyn Jambi, okay. Yes. Um, one more. Um, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, not that you've not already grown up, but hey, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like I'm already in grown up, but <laughs> uh, uh, I just want to achieve more mm-hmm. in terms of I want to be a career woman, a very strong career woman, mm-hmm. and just be a force in the corporate world. Mm-hmm. And yeah, establish my company and change lives with it. Career woman. So if you had found a, a company, what would you call it? What would it be about? I already have uh, two companies actually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One is my lipstick line. Yes. So I want to start a beauty business. Oh, beauty but I'm business. Also, yes, ah. I'm also into fashion mm-hmm. and 
and and and mentorship of upcoming models so ah. i want to do this fashion house uh -huh. and just have regular fashion shows such things okay yes we wish you the best of luck in that. <laughs> Thank Please, you. Please, watch any jitete. You may <laughs> want uh, some, some opportunities over there to pursue my hobby, which I left behind. Uh, when you have 30 minutes of free time, how do you pass that time? <laughs> 30 minutes of free time mm -hmm. depends on where I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you were in the car and you just have a random 30 minutes, what would you do? Just listen to music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be on Instagram. Of I was course. expecting. I'd be of on course. social media. Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. Now we know how it spent 30 minutes. Yeah. I know some people will start hating, but it's okay. It's cool. Um, uh, yes, um, let me see. The next one we have is, what would you name the autobiography of your life? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that one I think you need a moment to think. But uh, I think I would go with... Uh, huh. <laughs> I like I'll probably like, just title it my name. Where is Scarlett Were? Yeah, Mary Esther Were, the Eish. biography. Yeah, because it's quite straight and to the ah, point. Ah, nah. We need yeah. to some creativity. Yeah, I think you know, I life in, the, in, in her shoes, you know, something crazy like that. <laughs> well. <laughs> but okay, Mary Were. Of course, given more time, I would be more creative. <laughs> 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 like I would obviously come up with something. All right, yeah, thank you so much. But for the sake of airtime, let me just leave it at that. You leave it like that. It's yes. okay. It's fine. I've, <laughs> I've thrown in some ideas somewhere in case you ever decide to do one. Anyway, it's about time we conclude this segment. Um, thank you so much for coming, Scarlett. Of course. Do you have thank anything you. you would like to say to the young people at home? Any, any even the ladies, be it ladies or a guy who's interested in doing modeling? What words of advice do you have? And there are so many. They write to me every day, and uh, yeah. some of them think I own an agency. It's coming, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but for now, I would leave them with keep pursuing your passion. If you're very, you know, you're passionate about modeling, don't give up on it, mm -hmm. because so many doors can be closed on you, mm -hmm. but you'll never know until you get your final yes. You mm -hmm. never know your potential. Like for me, I mm -hmm. never knew my potential until I got to be Miss Universe. Mm -hmm and became the first Kenyan mm -hmm. to be placed at the, at the top six. Wow. So just consistency, persistence, and never giving up. Okay. Go to auditions, go to as many as you can, because you increase your chances and you learn. From each no, you learn that this time, maybe my work was not good. And mm. talk to people, because for me, I, once I got into modeling, I got so passionate about it that mm. I wanted to succeed so much. Mm. So even my catwalk improved over time. Mm -hmm. And it improved with those no's. I used to go train, I'm told no. Because me, I had weight issues, mm -hmm. as I told you earlier. <laughs> After high school, I was a bit, and I'm thick from the waist down. Mm -hmm. Because I'm low, uh, <laughs> and okay. proudly so. All right, Canaanites, <laughs> what's up? And proudly <laughs> so. So people are... are created differently our physiques are different mm -hmm. and there is no perfect model mm. and for so long people told me that i'm quite awkward because my upper body could pass for a high fashion model because i'm quite skinny on top mm -hmm. with a small bust mm -hmm. but then downwards i have a frame so Your i do quite fit <laughs> yes and but i had good height i have ah. a good height for modeling mm -hmm. so i didn't quite fit in either side you oh. see but it took a lot of practice and just learning how to walk mm -hmm. because you if you have a certain type of body you need to know how to tone it down true like for me when i'm walking i have to tone down my my movement from the waist down yeah so that, so that it's not so yeah. pronounced like there i see beyonce yeah so <laughs> end of story <laughs> is just learn learn take it positively every no take it positively go at home practice in the mirror learn if you really want this mm -hmm. one day you'll get it i promise you okay so that's my advice to them <laughs> Well, you've heard it from Miss Universe herself. Don't give up. Be consistent. And before we go, I'd yes. like to ask you one final but kind of interesting question. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you can tell us here on Why in the Morning on Y254 that you have never told anybody? Something interesting about you that is not in the media, that we don't know, that you can tell That's us today? That's a to tricky do. question, you know. Mm. Huh? <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just asked, you know. Something that, yes. something that no one knows. Yes. That if you were to say it's the first time that it's being had. Wow. Mm. 
that I probably had a crush on this guy. No one knows him. <laughs> <laughs> Which guy is this? <clears throat> yeah, but I probably had a crush on this guy for so long. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. you had you have a crush that has just stuck with you. Yes. <laughs> okay, who is the lucky man? Oh well, sorry, all of you who were hoping. So to that's have probably Scarlett. something no one knows. Somebody, so my nobody knows. Is out. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Abasi, thank you so much, Scarlett, for coming to the studio. Thank you for having me. Now I've had so much fun. Oh, sorry. Now they <laughs> were in the morning family. You know, Scarlett is taken. She's somewhere crashing. Okay. <laughs> 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 yes, to an anani like you know, you've been watching Social Friday with Model Edition. We had Ekran Omar, Teresa Junge, and we finished with Scarlett Berry. So make sure you don't go anywhere. We do this every Monday to Friday. Make sure you do catch up with me next week on Monday for Youth and Politics and Man Crush Monday as well. So don't go anywhere. Have a very, very good weekend. Bye.